Welcome to Nerd Alert, everyone. We have a lot of exciting news for you this week to talk about. I think you might know where I'm going with this already. But first, I want to introduce to you a special guest, a brand new guest. I know I've had a lot of repeats lately, but guess what? Some brand new person, flavor, personality here. It's Anastasia Washington. Anastasia hey is a host, a model. She is currently hosting Comics and Cocktails on the stream.tv. Um, it is a continuation of a very long running podcast. So that is something you should definitely check out now. Sponsored by Shakey's. Yeah. What's up? Um, so Anastasia, thanks so much for coming in this week. Thanks for having me. Joining me in a wide variety of topics, some of which scare you. Yes, some of them terrify me. <laughs> Anastasia's a little scared of space. I am. But we're going to talk about um, a big announcement from NASA because it's pretty. It's changed how we view the planet. That we've had an idea of being, you know, very arid, uh, very in unhabitable or for uh, for life. But you know, maybe there's a possibility. But actually, uh, NASA just announced that there is liquid water found on Mars, which is interesting to. <laughs> Interesting to say the least. I mean, they knew about um, frozen solid water, ice, as some people call it. Uh, this ice. <laughs> yeah, on Mars. Um, but it does, it does show a decisive shift in tone for NASA, which has repeatedly played down the notion that the somewhat desolate landscape uh, could be inhabited. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we've always been looking at it as a possible place to explore a possible second earth as they say but um it's kind of it's kind of interesting to to see that they're now thinking about 2020s 2020 20s. you know maybe yeah. we'll go on another exp uh exploration of mars uh let's take a look at some photos we have right now all right so those you may see the dark streaks descending along the slopes and craters um well we've known about this since 2011 uh, Alfred S. McEwen, a professor in planetary geology at the University of Arizona, and his team uh, noticed these dark streaks before. We have found more recently that the streaks lengthened during summer, faded as temperatures cooled, and reappeared the next year. This may be a sign of water changing as temperatures change during the Martian uh, season. So it can dip to very cold, negative 70, and it can be as balmy I say in sarcastic quotes, <laughs> as 70 degrees Fahrenheit. These are called RSLs, recurring slope linnae, and uh, many thousands of them have been spotted. So these things, uh, scientists suspect that water played a critical role in this phenomenon, uh, perhaps similar, well, as I just said about, you know, being changing colors when dry or wet. It has the telltale sign of salt. So what it seems to be is a very salty kind of liquid. The reason why it wouldn't freeze at such a, uh, a very low temperature is because of the, the uh, appearance of salt. Um, but this has scientists feeling differently on whether or not this could uh, have life inside of it. So Christopher McKay, an astrobiologist at NASA's Ames Research Center, uh, does not think that these are a promising place to look for uh, life, he says, for the water to be liquid, it must be so salty that nothing could live there. So it means the short answer is it's not habitable. It, it means nothing. While on the other side, we have uh, David E. Stillman, a scientist from Southwest Research Institute Space Studies Department in Boulder, Colorado, uh, saying that the water might be different in different regions. For some, they form only at the warmest time, suggesting that maybe uh, there is water that isn't too salty for microbes. And of course, on Earth, uh, we do know about certain organisms that love very salty climates and very cold climates, but it's, we don't have a huge amount of research on um, uh, what temperatures are needed for cell division and habitability, and it's, it's something that we're still, we're still researching. And wouldn't things adapt? I mean, I don't know, I feel like evolution adapting. Well, it's also <laughs> it's Mars, so it's going to be a little bit different from Earth. Yeah. And then uh, it's like, well, why doesn't the rover, why doesn't Curiosity go over and explore it? Well, Curiosity is, it's got the Earth taint, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, there may be some Earth microbes on it that would taint uh, the, the, the samples we have from Mars and maybe give us some false readings. Um, so the also, I imagine this could be like a horror movie in the making. Yeah, yeah. Well, microbes, microbes and microbes and microbes. A disgusting <laughs> hybrid microbial <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, I wish. I'd no, I don't it. wish, actually. I'd That's horrible. <laughs> uh, basically, it's uh, we would need to, the sterilization level needed would make uh, creating a rover 
very expensive and very prohibitive because it would need to be baked to a certain temperature that it would be withstanding. And then we have, you know, our previous rovers were, you know, the Viking uh, missions, they weren't really made to that level either. Uh, Curiosity was in ultraviolet light for a, a, a while, a very long while, uh, but it's not really quite the level we need. So wow. theoretically, it could blast, uh, it could use its laser that's on board, which uh, can, is usually blasted at rock and can tell its uh, composition based on what color is emitted afterward. But it's kind of far. And, yeah. Isn't it worth it to find oh, this out? Also, I feel like this is worth it. It's also, it would take Curiosity a year to drive that far to uh, where this promising area with the RSLs are. And it's, there's other things we want Curiosity to, to do in the next year. So it's probably not viable at this point. Uh, so maybe, maybe in 2020, maybe we'll get some more looks through reconnaissance. It, it could be pretty promising. Uh, but this, this discovery and this announcement at least uh, show that there's a lot of promise that there might be life, organisms, microorganisms. There, I mean, this is, this is a brand new view on it to, to the way that we're looking at Mars. And that's a landmark in of itself. Audience, what do you think of the discovery? Let us know below in the comments and please subscribe for more.